Hi, my name's Darren and welcome to my workshop. So this is 3D prints in the workshop number 10. <laughs> now I've got a couple of things to show you. So we'll kick it off with this frame. You may, may remember that in 3D prints in the workshop number 10, I made or presented this router template frame with interchangeable templates. I made this ellipse and there was one for holding lettering templates as well. And I said, when I make more, I would make them available. Well, I've made some more. We've got Valentine's Day coming up. So I've made a series of different size hearts that fit in there. And you could use them for decoration or making a box or any sort of thing, really. We've got four different sizes of hearts. From left to right, smallest to largest, three mil difference in size between each. So you could use them for making uh, patterns within patterns, cutting inside and outside of uh, shapes, uh, using just general marking out if you like. But anyway, I'll make those available on Thingiverse. I have started a project. In fact, I have pretty close to finished a project using those in conjunction with some of these little supports and the plug. But that's in a later video. Still on the subject of routing, I've got these router following template guides for the OF1010, the Festool OF1010 router, uh, made by Ramsey's 3D, and I will link to that, of course. He actually made six different sizes. I printed out four, and we'll take a quick look at those and see how they perform. And uh, we've also got here, doesn't look like much, but it's a little fence to fit the MFT3 table from Festool. So if you wanted to butt your wood up against it, you can plonk that in the holes, put your wood up against it, and it'll stop it from sliding. And uh, obviously you can make as many of them and put them in whatever configuration you want. So we'll have a look at that. And finally at the end, we're gonna have a look at something quickly that's got nothing to do with the workshop and everything to do with camping and maybe anything else you want to use it for. And that's uh, tarp clips. I've made a series of clips for holding two pieces of tarp holing together. So we'll take a look at that as well. For the routing template frame, we have some new routing templates. And as I mentioned, they're heart shaped, ready for Valentine's Day. You could do a number of things with different shaped heart shaped patterns, <laughs> different sized heart shaped patterns. Everything from uh, making small photo frames, boxes, uh, or just as decoration, you could route lines. So each one fits in the frame. And the blue one here is the largest. And this one here is the smallest. And as you can no doubt see, there's a significant difference in size there. So you could, if you wanted to, perhaps make a small heart-shaped photo frame. That would route out the center, then you'd cut out the edge. Uh, you could use this, for example, for um, just marking out and then cut it out on the bandsaw and route the center out here. I'll leave it to your devices as to what you're going to do with them, but four different heart-shaped frames ready for Valentine's Day. Okay, so we've got Ramsey 3D's template following guides here, and we're going to try and fit them to the OF1010. Now, they're all the same size, and the holes all align with each other. So we really only need to fit one to prove that they fit that the router, as you can see. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop the bottom off the OF1010 in a minute and make sure they fit. But before we get to that, let's uh, have a little look now on the back of them. And it's probably going to be hard for you to read here. But on the back of each one, he's written the inside sorry, the inside and the outside diameter of the bushing. You can see here, this one's got a radius of 10 inside and 16 outside. So 16 outside diameter, 10 inside diameter, supposedly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna check the accuracy of those because if you're doing template following work for things that you want to be a tight fit, then the sizes become important. If you're just doing pattern work for decorative patterns, it doesn't matter. Well, wow, it doesn't matter as much. So the inside diameter on this fella is 
it's only 9.89 the inside diameter that's a bit less than 10 and the outside diameter is Point nine three. Oh, oh. It's not consistent. Fifteen point nine two, fifteen point nine four, sixteen point one. This boat, this one's supposed to have an outside diameter of eighteen and an inside diameter of twelve. Let's test that one. Just make sure we're zeroed. We've got 11.81 and 17.95. So they're out a little bit. You might need to, if you're going to use them for very intricate work, you might need to allow for the shrinkage of the plastic as it cools, and you might need to make them ever so slightly bigger. But anyway, that's what metal templates are for, isn't it? <laughs> Let's see if they fit. There's a little bit of slop in there compared to the original ring. The template following guide sits nice and flush with the base here, so it's not going to snag as you move it along your workpiece. That's a definite plus. As I mentioned, I made these out of PETG because it's a little bit more wear resistant. I've been using some of my other templates recently made out of PLA and after a while they do start to wear. You get like a little mark in them you can see here. This is from use. It's got this little line in it now. Only in a couple of spots but still. So the PETG is supposed to be more wear resistant and that's why I've used it for printing these. Overall conclusion, they're well designed, but you're going to need to allow for the shrinkage of the plastic if you want to use them for accurate work. So, you've got yourself an OF1010 router, print yourself out some template following guides and some templates, and you're halfway through a project. So here we are over at the MFT3 table, and here's my little MFT3 fence. I printed this one out of... Um, PETG because it's supposed to be a bit more hard wearing so we'll chuck that in there and I'm just going to chuck a couple of the round dogs in here for now because I've only printed one of the rectangle fences so far but you could have a second one of these in there and there we go held in place As you can see, it's doing a good job of holding it in place while I chamfer this edge. You could use it, of course, for sanding or anything else. So there we are. That's the MFT3 dog fence, for want of a better name. I suppose I better come up with a name for it. What are we going to call it? Yeah, that'll do. All right, so that's the MFT3 dog fence. I'll make that available on Thingiverse as well. And so here we have the component parts of the tarp clip. We've got the base of the unit here. It's the thicker of the two, which has the space ready for the head of the bolt. The top of the unit. A little driver so you don't have to use a spanner every time you want to open and close one. And after all, you'll have quite a few of these to hold a tarp. Perhaps four, maybe more. An M5 bolt and an M5 nut. And it really does go together very simply. The bolt goes in there like so. And when you're actually using it, the two pieces of tarp go in here and get sandwiched with this piece. But of course, you don't take this piece off every time. You just loosen it off and put your tarp in either side and clamp it shut again. 
Okay, we're going to put our, oops, we'll put our little driver on first. Now this isn't glued in place yet. You could glue it in place. In fact, I will, because that'll hold the, the nut into here quite nicely. But it doesn't really matter because you're not taking it off all the way anyway. All you're doing is just loosening it. Placing your tarps in either side or your annexed one side, your tarp the other. And tightening it back up again, like so. Let's have a look at one in use. Here's the tarp clips holding a tarp to the annex of my camper. Got them from the inside here. You can see, I've got a couple, I've got a few along the top, holding in place. And surprisingly enough, they've withstood some very strong wind flapping around. So I'm very pleased with them. Hope that's been of some use to you. Have a great day and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.